Hi everyone. Today we are gonna be talking about the uh, cold storage gem for frozen food items, and we will also be focusing on how to make a correct cooling load calculation for a cold storage gem, including a working area. This video is for those uh, who are looking for some instruction and. By the end of this video, you will know more about how to make a great cooling load calculation for your cold room storage. A cold room is used to prevent food items from getting damaged. When we design a cooling system for a cold storage room, the air must be able to get around and between the products. And here as you can see, the first cold room has a dimension of 5 meters long, 3 meters wide, and 4 meters high. An area of 15 square meters with an inner design temperature of negative 25 degrees Celsius. The second cold room has a dimension of uh, 3 meters long, 3 meters wide, and 4 meters high. An area of 9 square meters with an inner design temperature of negative uh, 40 degrees Celsius. And the dimension of our working area is uh, 8 meters long. Three and a half meters wide and four meters high, an area of uh, twenty-four point four square meters with an under design temperature of uh, positive thirteen degrees Celsius. And let's start with the uh, U value. If the U value is uh, unknown, we have to determine the types, materials, and thickness of the insulation layer for our roofs, walls, and floors. As you can see, I have already uh, calculated the required U value for our roofs, walls, and floors, and the thickness of insulation for our roof is 175 millimeters with a U value of uh, 0 0.25 watt per square meter Kelvin and the thickness of insulation for our floor is 73 millimeters and a thermal conductivity of uh, 0 0.040 watts per square meter Kelvin with a U value of uh, 0.30 watts per square meter Kelvin and lastly the thickness of insulation for our walls is uh, 87 millimeters and a U value of uh, 0.35 watts per square meter Kelvin with a thermal conductivity of 0.04 uh, watts per square meter Kelvin and let's take a look uh, at the first cold room the ambient air is uh, 35 degrees Celsius at uh, relative uh, humidity of uh, 60%. The indoor design temperature is uh, negative 25 degrees Celsius and the temperature difference uh, between ambient air and cold room is uh, 60 degrees Celsius with a uh, U-value of uh, 0.25 watts per square meter Kelvin for a roof, 0.35 for our walls and 0.30 for our floor. To calculate the cooling load, we'll use this uh, formula uh, Q equals U multiplied by A multiplied by T1 minus T2 multiplied by 24 hours and divided by 1000. So let's start with uh, transmission load. Transmission load is the total heat load calculation through walls, roof, and floor. So we need to consider the uh, effect of solar radiation when one of the walls or the ceiling is exposed to the solar incidence. We must take it into consideration. As you can see, uh, I have already calculated the transmission load through our roof, walls, and floor. 5.4 kilowatts hour per day for our roof 32.2 kilowatts hour per day for our walls and 3.8 kilowatts hour per day for our floor the second thing the internal load which is the amount of total energy was generated by people lights 
and equipment. Pupil gives off heat according to the level of activity. Here as you can see we have two people working and each of them has a heat loss of 275 watts multiplied by hours of working per day and divided by 1000 that comes out 3.3 kilowatts hour per day. Two lights multiply by watts multiply by hours of use per day and divided by 1000 that comes out 0.96 kilowatts hour per day. And the third one is uh, equipment load with three fans uh, multiply by hours of use per day multiply by watt and divided by 1000 that comes out 5.4 kilowatts hour per day and you can also include the defrost element and the next one is uh, infiltration load which is the entry of outdoor air through an open door or window also occurs through cracks in the building envelope due to pressure difference between inside and outside is considered as uh, infiltration uh, as you can see we have uh, three air changes per day multiplied by the volume of cold air multiplied by 2.5 5 kilojoule per cube meter multiplied by the ambient air minus the indoor design temperature and divided by 3600 that comes out 7.5 kilowatts hour per day and next um, product load uh, which is the amount of total energy generated in the form of uh, heat from products and as you can see we have uh, 3000 kilograms of uh, spanish uh, which is coming during the day and adding this all up that comes at 104.2 uh, kilowatts hour per day and the last one is uh, respiration load uh, vegetable are alive and they gave off respiration heat the amount of heat uh, from the vegetable depends on the stored temperature as you can see uh, we have a 15,000 kilograms of spinach in the storage and having this all app that comes out 10 kilowatts hour per day and we can also account for ventilation air which is the introduction of outdoor air into an enclosed space it can be uh, natural or mechanical so in this calculation we haven't taken it into consideration so i will talk about it uh, more in my next video and adding these all numbers in and multiplying by a safety factor of 1.1 that will give you your total cooling load for the first cold room for the second cold room and the working area i will talk about them in my next video that's it for today i appreciate you for watching this video